Hello, this is Ravi Narayan from the Regional Institute of English. I am a professor here. I was the chief coordinator for the 15-day professional development program in English that we conducted for teachers working in primary schools and teaching English from classes 1 to 5. This program was uh, designed by the Regional Institute of English in consultation with the DSCRT. And we offered this training program in the year 2019-20 as well as 2020-21. We have trained about 1000 teachers uh, through this 15-day PDP in English. Yeah, the main objectives of this program were to equip teachers with classroom activities that will help them in enhancing student learning, to explore a range of methods techniques and materials that can be used to teach English in the primary classrooms, to empower teachers with necessary skills to use the target language effectively and meaningfully in classroom as well as in real life situations, to help teachers achieve the desired learning outcomes by following appropriate classroom practices and assessment methods, to contribute positively to their continuing professional development and also to design activities and exploit a range of print, audio, visual and online resources for teaching English to young learners. So these were the main objectives with which uh, the 15 day program was designed. And we had topics such as uh, a few sessions on spoken English where we talked about uh, the importance of listening comprehension and the importance of classroom talk what we call teacher talk and then we also had a session on language functions and we had some sessions on vocabulary development uh, where we had a lot of activities to improve students vocabulary and the next topic was foundational skill exploring reading we had sessions on exploring pictures for reading and reading for comprehension where we talked about the difference between reading aloud and silent reading, different techniques of reading such as skimming, scanning and then we had a session on assessing reading. The next topic was teaching grammar. We mainly focused on six areas in grammar namely naming words, describing words, action words, prepositions. 10 simple present and present continuous. And the next topic was foundational skill developing writing skills. So we gave sufficient practice in handwriting for teachers and then activities on improving student spelling and then sentence construction skills and some sessions on story writing and other forms of writing. The next topic was on teaching young learners where we had discussions about understanding young learners and then presenting a prose lesson and teaching poetry and then creating print rich environment and using media in classroom teaching. And then we talked about learning outcomes and assessment. This was a very important session where teachers were introduced to the concept of learning outcomes and we help teachers in designing activities based on learning outcomes. We help them uh, in integrating learning outcomes with classroom processes and also with assessment practices. And the next topic was developing teachers language proficiency. So the whole training was divided into two parts. First part was developing students English language skills, developing students vocabulary, grammar and uh, learning of English. The next part was developing teachers English language proficiency. So we had a variety of tasks on improving teachers listening skills, speaking skills, reading and writing skills and then we had storytelling sessions uh, and then sessions on developing their debating skills. And the last topic uh, was teacher professional development where we discussed the importance of teachers professional development. Right. Uh, one interesting thing about this training is that in addition to 15 day face to face training, we conducted an online follow up for about three months. So every week we met teachers on one particular day 
and that was like follow up of the 15 day face to face training where teachers had to make presentations for about 8 to 10 minutes so in every online session 6 to 8 teachers would get opportunities to make a presentation related to uh, the topics that we have discussed so teachers had to make presentations on vocabulary and then designing grammar activities listening speaking activities and teachers found both the face to face and online programs very useful here is the feedback received from some teachers for example one particular teacher said that it was an excellent training that i have ever received in my 13 years of service i could learn spoken english as much as possible i learned many activities that were beneficial for my students it enriched my vocabulary as i was eager to learn spoken english all the faculty members used to, to encourage us to learn english so like this we have received uh, interesting feedback from all the teachers and then on online follow up sessions also they said these online follow up sessions helped us a lot uh, in the sense that we didn't have a discontinuity of the training and then uh, one teacher said it, it was very useful these follow up sessions were designed very well because of these follow up sessions i am able to recall those 15 days of input and uh, continue to explore new ways of learning is like a reinforcement and a bridge in this teaching learning process uh, right so uh, that's about the 15 day professional development program in english for primary school teachers and i was also the coordinator for the district level resource team uh, we conducted a face to face orientation program for 6 days so each district resource team had six members from the respective uh, districts there was one diet nodal officer from each district along with the nodal officer there was a subject inspector and if, wherever there is no subject inspector we called one person from the cte college of teacher education and then we had one brp one crp and one high school teacher and one mrp of uh, any RA training program, especially an MTIP MRP. So they attended an orientation program for six days where we introduced all the training programs we designed at RIE. So 15 day PDP was one such program. And uh, on the last day, we uh, gave them some tasks. Like one of the main tasks, one of the main tasks was to visit schools and see how teachers are implementing the ideas they received during their training programs at RAE. So each district resource team had to visit five schools this year and then they had to interview the teacher, observe the classroom for about 40 minutes and they also had to conduct a small test for children. And they would uh, go back to diet, sit together and prepare a report and submit it to DSCRT as well as RE. The DRT, District Resource Team, will come back to RE for a four-day follow-up session uh, very soon. And that's when they'll make presentations on their school visits and share their reports. And we have other plans for the academic year 2024-25. So that's all from me. Thank you.